Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that when you allow change to be your freedom, life is different. This can look like replacing the old with the new. Many times it is. Simply replace the old things with new things. The new ideas, the old ideas with new ideas. The old version of self with the new version of self. And it's all about what that looks like for you. See, a lot of our journey, we can get crystallized or we can preserve ourselves in this version of ourselves that no longer serves us or truthfully that we no longer identify with. But because we become so comfortable in that way of being, we can stay stuck and stagnant when it's okay to release. This is not about being uh, holier than thou or being the best in any and everything you do. No. It's simply about being happy about what you've chosen for yourself. Now, happiness is not the ultimate goal, but satisfaction, I guess, would be a better word for it. Because the emotion of happiness, just as any emotion, is very fleeting. But being satisfied and knowing that you made a choice for your life or you've made choices for your life and you are content with those choices and those choices that have brought in your horizon, open your mind, open your heart even better. Being okay with that aspect of who you are and continuously nourishing that version of you. There's nothing to replace that. See, if God is any and all things, and God is in any and all things, then whatever choice you make for yourself is okay. It's not about what anybody else is doing. It's strictly about what you're doing. Are you okay with the reality that you're in? You make choices to change it if you're not. This is not about a complete overhaul of your life. It's about one step at a time. One little thing at a time. There will always be some form of uh, opposition, if you will. Somebody who does not agree, somebody who does not like. It's none of your concern. It's none of your business. Your business is your life. What kind of material things do you want? Do you want status? Do you want wealth? Do you want a cool hobby that makes you enjoy learning? Do you want a new skill? The possibilities are endless. Those are just things that come off the top of my brain. But what do you see for yourself? What would you like to include within your reality that will give you that feeling of, man, it was cool to experience that, or I'm glad I'm experiencing that now. What is it for you? The best thing about this kind of exploration is you don't have to tell nobody. It's not their business, remember. Just keep seeking out the things that give you life. Because the more of, of God's power that you generate within your life, the more of that loving and fulfilling energy that you pop into your existence, you shine that light onto others. You can be an inspiration simply by living your life. Not even you can be, you are. No matter what you do, you inspire. So continue to be involved in your life experience in a way that makes you excited about the power that you have. In a way that makes you proud of the light that you shine for others in your life. Because if nobody has told you, I'm here to remind you that you do do that. You do shine a light. So continue to do that. Continue to build upon that ever so beautiful glow that God has given each and every one of us. 
It's not about being better than or less than anybody because we are all created in his image. It simply boils down to what choices have you made today to make you okay with who you are today? Embrace yourself for who you are. Love yourself. If you have things that you do not like, change them. You got things you're okay with, you don't want to change, embrace them. That's it. For myself personally, I'm not here to judge anybody. Because I'm not going to take that much time to judge myself. I'm not perfect. No, I do have my slips. That's okay. I'm here to remind you to not make some of the same mistakes that I do. And even if you do, so what? Trust in who you are. Release the old man, become the new man or woman. But be proud of that. And don't wait for the world to tell you that you're correct or you're right. Trust in who you are. And know that everything else will take care of itself. Until next time, be blessed. Please, don't forget to smile.